Good morning everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to a little day in town. I'm back in town. I feel like I'm coming into Central a lot more recently, which is um, it's always nice because it's nice to show you guys. It's fairly early this morning. <clears throat> it's a minute to nine. It's currently Wednesday and we are into a new week. I'm very much looking forward to the little start we've got this morning. I'm heading to a breakfast spot that is um, new to me. I've invited you in along. We're going to somewhere called the Wigmore. It's not new because we've been before. It's a pub that's linked to the Langham, which I've been to before. It's a lovely hotel in London. Yeah, they very kindly invited me along to try their new breakfast. So it's a pub turned gastro pub, and I'm so here for that. I love like relaxed breakfast settings, nothing too fancy, nothing too like in your face. So um, yeah, it's gonna be really nice. Just heading up there now. I'm literally bang on time, so I'll drop you in a message and see where he's at. But the weather's lovely. It's gonna chuck it down later, so gonna enjoy this one while you can. I don't think we've seen blue skies in London like that in quite some time. So the Langham is just up there. Here we are, we've just arrived at the Wigmore and they've got a sign outside saying that they're now serving breakfast, which is great. It's such a lovely pub. It's like so lovely inside. So yeah, we're gonna head on in. How gorgeous is this? So this is the Wigmore. I love the green ceiling, it's so so classic like a British pub, but I feel like they elevate it with making it a little bit more fancy in here. It's usually very, very busy on an evening. I've never seen it this empty before. Obviously, they're trying out breakfast. So, yeah, here's the menu. I'm going to have a look through and see what we've got. I've just ordered a coffee. So, um, yeah, Ewan's on his way. Oh, I have a little morning cocktail. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go for that, but um, yeah, let's have a look. Also, I love that this is very traditional with ever. When you come to a breakfast in Britain, you have HP brown sauce and Heinz tomato ketchup, always in glass bottles. <laughs> I used to have to fill these up on my old job way, way back, and it was a nightmare. But it's nice to see them here. My coffee has just arrived. I'm limiting myself to one coffee a day just because <laughs> I feel like I'm having too much caffeine recently, so this will be enjoyed thoroughly. Ewan's here, by the way. <laughs> Morning. Hey. Just saying, I really like his t-shirt, the little flowers poking yeah. up. They're That's so, mate, you're better at that. I can't even keep real ones alive. <laughs> so we've just ordered some breakfast. I've gone for the smoked haddock kedgeri, which is kind of like a Scottish dish. It's something I've never tried before. So I thought, why not? And Ewan's gone for mushrooms on toast with marmite and an egg. And we've just had a lovely almond croissant and a carrot and orange juice arrived, so we're trying to get the goodness. <laughs> we were both just, oh gosh, the light, we were both just catching up about um, the coronation uh, weekend, weren't we? Yeah, we both got a little bit merry. Just a bit. Just a bit, dear. I put the vlog up, the one you will have seen. I was screaming, take that. Mm. And yeah, it was quite, it was, it was quite yeah, yeah, it was when it was, um, it, the other claps. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm glad we were both enjoying ourselves. <laughs> So breakfast has arrived. My kedgeree looks gorgeous. It's got a poached egg on there with some lovely smoked haddock and I've just poured over this, I think it's like a lemony buttery sauce. Looks lovely with pilau rice. And Ewan's got two eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely didn't say it came with eggs, but you've got a second. You love a second egg. Yeah, with some marmite and some mushrooms, Mushroom spinach. Great, it looks gorgeous, mate. Dig on in. So I've just ordered myself a decaf cappuccino and you and you're gonna have to help me with this croissant. We're gonna oh, have to have a little, exists. yes, absolutely. I love getting the pastry and like dipping it in the foamy milk. It's just mm. so good. But yeah, I've gone for decaf just because I'm trying to limit the caffeine and I don't want the shakes. <laughs> so we've just finished up breakfast and we are back at the store that I used to work at and they've got the Ikea signs up now. And for those who can't wait, why not shop online? So Ikea Oxford Circus is coming very soon. Look, they've even got the, they've got the little signpost there. We will be the first. We'll be queuing up. We will, with our blue bags oh, ready. Yes. I've um, I've got mixed opinions. I feel like it's going to make this place carnage. Like, imagine. Yeah, some... Well, you can it? hear they're working on it in there. Oh my gosh! People are going to be coming out with Billy Bookcase under their yeah. arms. Honestly, <laughs> imagine. God, it's already quite a busy station as well. We'll see. We'll see. We'll watch this vlog back when it's all going to be. Up. We said it would be like that. Oh, anyway. Oh, have I just been dripped on? Probably. <laughs> So I'm currently in Uniqlo because I fly to Bologna next week and it's forecast rain every single day so I'm picking up a raincoat. I've left it completely last minute. I try and thrift one but I'm running out of time so I feel like it'll be a good purchase to get. They've got some in different sizes but I thought going for a slightly longer one would be better just to keep me as dry as possible and this is so lightweight. It's been 20 degrees but raining so I want to be dry but not too warm so I'm going to grab this. So we've just used the very fancy checkout tails in Uniqlo. If you've ever used this before you just drop your clothes and then it knows what you've got and if you download the app you get a five pound off welcome coupon so I just save five pound on everything just scan the QR code and then you can scan every single time and collect 
point, I'm presuming. Yeah, great, all done. Set for six days in rainy Bologna. So we're just in Primark on Tottenham Court Road and um, we're just having a little look at some of their summer pieces they've got. Even though I've just bought a coat for Rainy Bologna, we're just going to have a look and see what they've got in store because they bring out their summer stuff really early, even though it's May. They've got some lovely pieces. I'm a fan of a stripe, as you know. I actually really like this shirt with the sleeve detail. That's actually lovely. I'm very tempted by that. I like it in the oversized fit as well. It's quite thick, so it'd be a good spring piece. I'm gonna consider that for sure. Do they have my size? That's the question. Oh no, there are only extra larges. Ah, well, that's decided. <laughs> now that is a very bold, very vibrant two-piece. I don't know how I feel about that. I think that could be a cool like wallpaper or a print. But um, yeah, different together. You definitely stand out from the crowd. They've got some more bright ones here as well. Very cool. Again, really not what something I'd go for, but maybe the shorts on the run are quite funky. Just having a look at some of their beach towels. They've got really cool patterns and designs. That's nice. And these striped ones, they're very um, Soho House, kind of like a members club we have here and around the world. They're 10 pounds. The olive green is lovely. And they're nice quality as well. They feel reasonably thick. I picked up this olive green polo because I love the colour green on. This is 12 pounds. I'm going to take this away with me as well as a smarter dinner option. We're trying on caps. <laughs> I'm very hopeful that the weather will uh, improve, but it's currently predicted rain every day. That's quite cool. I like that. What do you think? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. I've just got a hot dog on. I love a hot dog. I like a cat. I used to wear them so much because when I used to have hair, like get it out of your face. Yeah. But now I've got no hair. I don't really have a need for them. Keep the sun out your eyes. Yeah, that's true actually. Do you know what? I'm gonna grab that. It's quite nice. It's a bit different. Come for a green. I like green, as yeah. you can tell. Yeah. Green. I'm wearing green. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look in the home wear. We are just in the Primark home section now. It's gravitated towards the artificial tulips. They're so good. The whole pot is six pounds. Yeah. A bit like recycled glass style, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, but it's yeah. kind of like not, not perfect. It's very, very nice. They've always got new bits in this store. These cushions are quite lovely too, quite Kath Kidson. Feel good quality as well for £10. Primark, that's not bad at all. And these vases are always quite funny. You and I just spotted these candle frames. I have some very similar. Um, they are really, really nice. Like a nice brass colour, opposed to like a gold. £4.50 each, they're nice. And I like this cushion a lot. This print is very bold, but with the orange detail, I think that looks quite premium. That is eight pounds. I'm impressed with that. Primark Home always do so well, especially this time of year as well. I think they've got so many lovely outdoor bits like the jugs and like the acacia, I think this is like the wood. This tablecloth is really nice. Striped. It's almost like a linen material. I don't think it's full linen. Um, 10 pounds. It's really good. Got it in the green as well. Quite similar to the beach towel I just showed earlier. That's 10 pounds too. It's always worth looking in Primark's sales section because they've got such good reductions. This is £15 for a ladder shelf. That would look so smart if you've just moved or you want something really simple until you figure out like some, maybe some built-in storage in a couple of years. That would be great for when you do move if we're moving into somewhere that has nothing. I mean, what we've got in our bathroom is an old um, office unit <laughs> and does the job. But you could pop some bits and bobs in the bottom of there. £15. It's brilliant. Primark storage is actually so good. They've really leveled up and it's kind of like rivaling home sense and it's a lot more affordable. These baskets, three for ten pounds, really good value. These leather topped handle ones are really nice. They're quite premium looking too. Two storage baskets for fourteen pounds, like a nice tan leather. I love those. I think they're really really nice. I've just spotted this four stackable shoe box for eight pounds. I think that's such a fab little find. I've recently bought some shoes, and um, could be nice for like the smarter ones as well. Let's get them out of their boxes and just make it look a bit smarter. Eight pounds is not bad going at all. I remember seeing this vase last time I was in store. I was really impressed with it. I think it looks a lot more premium than the price. I think it's six pounds. And these pasta bowls are lovely too. Twelve pounds for a set of four. This is the shoe storage. And they've unboxed them for you so you can have a little look. I think that's a really good storage solution just to get rid of the, like, the mismatched cardboard boxes that I've got. Eight pounds. I'm really impressed. Ewan's just snapping away for his home account over there. He's getting all of the nice new bits. This is a really lovely selection. It's very... um. Feels like Mediterranean, doesn't it? Like Greek yeah. almost. It's nice. Yeah. I think I spotted this last time there. The old glass oil pourer. That is so lovely. £2.50. 
Love that. These remind plates. me of um, paper plates. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, with the scalloped edge yeah. in. Nice, aren't they? These are nice as well, the storage jars with the lids. Love that. This is classic me. I came in not needing a single thing and then I ended up getting some shoe storage, some horn bits and a new shirt and a cap. But I am officially now in possession of eight very clever shoe storage and I can't wait to put these up. I'll probably do them when I'm home and let you know how they are. And I got one of the Primark strong bags because <laughs> it's an essential. We've just popped into Tiger just to have a look at some of their summer bits. They've got some great little summer items. Some glass Sunday balls. They're quite cool in kitchen, aren't they? They're 3 50 and they've got this like, brass ice cream scoop. That is £4. These little lemon juices are quite nice as well. I like that teal colour. £4 as well. Tiger's got some great bits in, really affordable prices too. Lots of picnic things. Let's have a look. Picnic season is here. It's £18 for a fold up picnic blanket. That's pretty good going. The gingham's cool. Little picnic sets as well. It's not bad, all in. And got some more traditional open top baskets with the handle if that's your vibe. Some great options for outdoor bits as well. We've got some jugs and some flower pots. I know our balcony definitely could do with a bit of a refresh. We gave it a hoover the other day, but they've got some great bits. If only this was all available in COVID three years ago, we'd have had a field day. We had to make do with what we could order online. Ewan's just spotted these. I often get questions about the meal planners that we use, and the one we have actually is from Tiger. Does it have a magnet? No. So ours has a magnet on, but you could easily glue. Yeah, yeah, you could glue one on with a bit of super glue and pop it on your fridge. So it's really great to like actually see your meals and add things on that you need to buy. That's four pounds for this out of three. Tiger's homeware and kitchenware is fab. I think it's so good. It's a little bit different. It's got like a Scandinavian Danish feel about it. The teapot's lovely for fifteen. We've got filter coffee makers for eleven. These ceramic tiles, they're so nice. Kind of like retro. Very cool. Cake slice is cool as well. Happiness is a piece of cake. Five pounds. Love that. These are nice as well. I've seen these before. The ceramic teapots. They are lovely. Good weight to them as well. So we've just saw this. I said to you and it looks a bit like Chucky. I was like, what, what, what is that? You can operate on it. That's his intestine. And it's, it's, oh, it has it on it. Small intestine. The liver. Large intestine. What's that one? You just ripped his pancreas out. Oh, so we've got the heart. Kidneys. These are the lungs, right? Yeah, esophagus. <laughs> I didn't pay attention during biology at school, That's you can tell. Place. Oh my, oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> These storage jars are great as well. I actually bought one from Borough Market, but I didn't realise they had them in here. A lot cheaper than Borough Market. These are £2.15 and they've got the cork lid with the little serving spoon on the side. I'm back home with the girls. Look, they give the best welcome back. Hello, Ivy. Ivy always has to give you like a toy. It's almost like an offering, like, hi, welcome. This is where I'm living now. Here's a toy. What have we got today, Ive? The duck? Yeah, and the duck, you'll notice, is missing a flapper because they had a tug of war last night and she pulled the flapper off. Didn't you? You girls did this. So Zara's gonna have to sew it back on. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and that is why it is the best having dogs because they give you a welcome that no human can give you. <laughs> you can be separated from someone from years. We've only been apart a couple of hours. I've only been in town for breakfast, but they just are so excited. Oh, hello, darlings. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Oh, gosh. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> right, I'm going to take them out for a nice walk. Oh, dear. I said the word. And I'll show you the um, Primark shoe storage in situ when I need to build it. Gosh, it's so clammy. I should literally that jacket. I had to take it off, but it's gonna rain. It's weird weather. Would you girls like to go for a walk? <gasps> Would you like to go for a walk? Come on then. I'm gonna leave my vlog camera here because it's a lot to carry: keys, phone, poop bags, ball, treats, etc., etc. But I'll catch you guys when I'm back. Okay, I'm back with two very tired girls. Look at you panting. I know. Knackered. <laughs> That was a good stomper. We went for about two, two and a half kilometers. I'm just thirsty. I'm just gonna prop you guys there. I'm gonna make some lunch. I know it feels like all I've done in this vlog so far is eat, but we did have breakfast at 9.30 and it's now 2.30, so I'm hungry. But I'm just gonna make some beans on toast. I know that is a very typical British thing to make. So I'm gonna use some of this, it's just um, some sourdough, and uh, I'm gonna bouge up the beans a little bit. I like adding harissa. 
like a really nice, like, spicy, just gorgeous taste. Um, it just makes the beans have a little bit of something. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm actually not gonna use harissa. I'm gonna use this three chili paste, just to give it a bit of kick, make like spicy beans. It'd be absolutely lovely. This is honestly one of my all-time favorite meals, such classic comfort food, and I love it. For me, food is all about nostalgia, and I know a lot of you ask about cookbooks, and is a cookbook happening? My concept for a cookbook has always been and will always be about comfort food and food from the soul, food that, you know, ignites memories and that for me is what food's all about. It's when you eat something and it transports you somewhere that you've been before or it tastes like something that just makes your heart happy. Like that that's what food is for me. Food's always been like a therapy. It's all it's like a it's like a comfort and that's why I love comfort food. All of my food is very comfort and it's never fancy. But beans on toast for me just reminds me of home. It would be a quick meal that we'd have at home. Beans on toast, loads of cheese on when we didn't really have a lot of time or a lot of money. And it would just be easy and quick and feed a lot of people. We'd always have it on like a winter's day. When we'd gone in from playing in the snow as kids, I'd have it at my nana's house. My mum would make it and I learned to make it. I mean, it's literally beans on toast. But when you're a kid, that's a pretty big meal. And that's what food's all about for me. Just makes in here happy. Lunch was delicious, so I thought I'd quickly show you everything I got in Primark. I mean, you pretty much saw it. Picked up two of these shoe storage things. I'm really excited to put these together. I'm gonna put them together in a second. So yeah, 16 pounds for eight in total, which I think is really good going. Um, and like I said, I tried them in store and I was really impressed. I ended up getting the cap. I think it's really nice. It says on the front of it, Health and Recreation Tennis Club established in 1984. But it's got like, like that vintage look about it and I just think that looks quite cool. I like that. I feel like I don't own that many like colourful caps and I'm quite happy with that. And then I actually bought the oil decanter which I just thought was such a lovely shape. How nice is that? So this was £2. I'm actually thinking maybe I could put some syrup in there for the coffees that we have, like some caramel syrup. Just to pour that out I think that could be really lovely. Or maybe some olive oil or balsamic. I grabbed one of these amber glass jars with the wooden lid. So that fully screws on, so it's an airtight jar. That was four pounds, which I think is actually a really good price for real glass, and I love the color of it. Oh, hello, Maggie. Hi, darling. I also picked up some of these napkins. These were one pound for a pack of 24, just because picnic season is fast approaching. And I just think they're really handy to have in the cupboard, so you can just pop them away and grab them when you need. And then finally, I got this green like Riviera neck polo. So this is from the Kem um, range. Kem was on Love Island if you weren't aware. And he's got a range with Primark but it, it's actually really really nice. I love it. I think the pieces are quite timeless, quite classic and they feel really good quality. I bought a polo from his collection a while back and I still wear it now. And then I just picked up some basics in Uniqlo. I got a white vest. Uniqlo just make like the best basics and their quality is really, really good. So that is a ribbed white vest, that was nine pounds. And then a, another gray t-shirt. I think like I have basics in black, white and gray t-shirts. This one's Uniqlo as well. They wash really well. They just stand the test of time. I think if you spend a little bit more, you get back in quality. Um, and yeah, I just like to have like a couple when one's in a wash, I can wear another one. The second and last thing were actually these in the sale. These are some like elasticated waist, really lightweight joggers. So these actually be good for the gym, but I thought these would be good to travel in. I have these in blue and they are so comfy, but I think black will be a bit more like kind of like smarter-ish while still having that nice element of comfort. They were £24.90 down to £9.90. And then the reason I actually went into town, apart from to have breakfast, is to also get a raincoat. So this is the one I went for. Again, I was gonna try and find something cheaper or maybe thrift one, but I'm running out of time. And I also just think Unicor quality is so good. Like, I've had one coat from there in the past and it just is such good quality. So this is really lightweight, it like folds down really, really thin, so I can roll it up. Um, it's slightly longer as well. Zara says came home. They did have cheaper alternatives in store, but they weren't as long. So I think that'll be perfect to defend the rain, which is happening every single day. Hello. Hiya. I'm just filming a haul of the bits I've got in town. Right, I'm gonna pop these shoe storage boxes together. There are instructions on the back. Thank God. Once I do one, I should be able to do them all. In theory. Oh, this is really straightforward. So that's the actual box. Just like a clear perspex. 
and then just pop those through. Squish it out like that and then clip them together. Ta-da! Now to make another seven. Right, some time has passed and I have officially built four, well, eight in total, shoe storage boxes. So I'm gonna pop those in my bedroom and then pop my shoes in, which will free up more room in my wardrobe so I can be a bit more organized in there. Right, so there we are. After a little bit of organizing, all of my shoes are now in place, which makes me so happy. <laughs> so all of these are like my smart dress shoes. I've got like my penny loafers in here, Russell and Bromley. I've got some, uh, there. those are actually my shoes for the wedding uh, coming up in October. I've got more penny loafers. Those are from Log and then some monk straps down there. And then these are like my trainers. So I've got like my running trainers here, my Vegas that I had on today. Uh, Converse, my New Balance, and then these are like my Pride and Joy. These are my Fairfax and Favour loafers that I love. Those are in a separate box. I already had that one. So yeah. I mean, it's visually not exactly the most lovely thing, but it's organisation and it means that I've got so much more room in my wardrobe now. I have this whole section now free that I can pop some knitwear and jumpers there and it just frees up so much more room. So I've just finished off editing um, another reel and uh, I think I'm pretty much there with all of my food post now, but lots of delicious recipes coming very, very soon. And I'm just gonna sit and crack on with this book. Still on wrong place, wrong time. And I'm about, I think I've got about 100, just over 100 pages left. And I was speaking to Zara about this this morning because she's read this book. And um, I've actually had a couple of you message say that you're reading it too, or you have read it. And Zara's like, there is a part in this book that I haven't gotten to yet because I'm literally so, like I am questioning everything. It's so, so good, a little brief outline and um, a mom witnesses her child do something and then ends up living her life in reverse trying to find out why the child did this thing i feel like that summarizes it well doesn't it i don't know it's just it's 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 really good and i was reading it on the bus earlier i nearly missed my stop <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna read some more of this and then we're going out this evening i'm really looking forward to it Do you know if you just said to me five year ago little old luke in uni like you'll be heading to marylebone and you'll be going to a restaurant launch that you've been invited to i'll be like Phew, nah so yeah we're going it's a place called carlotta and it's new it's just open so i went to i've been to quite a few of these restaurants it's a chain in london but they're a chain with a difference it's called big mama group so they've got Sicolo popolari which is in fitzrovia jacuzzi which is in south kensington if mario which is in covent garden we've also been to gloria which is in like shoreditch east london so there's quite a few there's also one in paris and um, so italian food and I really like them. Some people say that the um, food doesn't match like the hype of the restaurants. The restaurants are beautiful. And I've never had a bad meal there. And um, I thoroughly enjoy it. I went with Zara, I went with my mum. And we really love it. So we're heading to the new launch tonight. And then um, we're heading to a book launch after that, a cookbook launch by my friend Callum, who's just launched a vegan cookbook. So we'll be swinging by just to show our support and say congratulations as well. So it's a busy evening. I think we need to head there at six, so. We need to get a wiggle on. Right, I've opted for a suit this evening. The theme was the Gilded Age. It's like a Vegas 50s style party. So I'm not particularly Vegas, but <laughs> we've stretched to it. It's gone for a blazer with a t-shirt and a little pocket square. And I've got my Russell and Bromley burgundy green loafers on. Tying in with the green and Zara's got green in her dress too. So there we are. And fragrance I'm going to wear this evening is Pen Halligan's from the Portraits collection. It is the Blazing Mr. Sam. I am back home and I have lost my voice again. I feel like it barely repaired after last weekend's coronation antics and then this evening I lost my voice again. <laughs> I've had the best evening. That was such a gorgeous event. I've barely filmed anything because it was it's quite an intimate venue and there was a lot of people there. And when I say it was busy, it was busy. So I got some very quick clips, but I'll leave Carlos a link down below because I think it's gonna be quite popular. It's like a nice 60s, 
lovely place to have a drink. I loved it and I went to my friend Callum's book launch. It was fab as well. But again, just really nice to catch up with people. The girls are here, they're loving their life just down here, playing as they always do. But I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. But I'm gonna stop talking now because my voice is completely gone. So I lots of love to you all. Take care and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.